By the way, this is probably like the most chill and most satisfying game show music I've heard. If someone who debates metaphysical questions about the nature of existence, consciousness, and impermanence, and expounds the, all that stuff, doesn't beat the history of the university, albeit it's an 1842, it was founded in 1842, I don't know what will beat that. Oh! <laughs> I had a feeling that was gonna happen. I'm gonna say though that the uh, the mayor's profile is longer than the uh, handballer's profile here. Way longer. Interesting. But yeah, I figured um, athlete profiles on Wikipedia are usually short. So, haha. -ha. Oh my goodness. That tells us a lot. How an article is 17,000 words longer an article about the best disco songs of 1977 is longer than the definition of a legal defense all right welcome to b-man plays and today we're checking out wiki arena this is a game by fabian fisher who was really kind to provide us with a steam key so that we can check out the game early it is coming out October 25, so a couple of days from now. Make sure to check it out. This is a trivia roguelike wherein Wikipedia articles go up against each other and we have to predict which one's going to come out the winner. So as you can see here, we are given two random Wikipedia articles. We're given the title, a short intro paragraph, and then it is up to us to, see, to guess which one is... um longer or got more views okay how well do you know the internet let's go for it let us i already restarted oh no i reset my stats but re let's restart here we go first one liam bergen or thomas farmsite liam bergen is a british actor of irish and trinidadian descent he trained at the Guildhall School of Music and Drama, graduating in 2008. He is currently best known for playing Danny Mitchell in EastEnders and Rupert in Trinity. Mm, and this is Thomas Farmside. Is an early Miocene? Hemingfordian assemblage of vertebrate fossils located in Gilchrist County. This, this article is challenging me already. Um, where am I? Northern Florida. The Thomas Farm site is one of the richest terrestrial deposits of Miocene vertebrates. Mm, um, Liam was born in 1985, so that's... He's in his 30s. So I'm gonna guess that that one got more views in the last 60 days. Come on, Liam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Woo, woo. Veach and Barduvarnok, Croatian. It's a Syro Slavic. Okay, Bardu. Barduvarnok is a village in Samogi County, Hungary. It is located in the Zelik. The village of Zena is very close. From the city of Kaposvar, there are two ways to go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Veach is a surname. Notable people with the surname include Al Veach, American baseball player. Okay. Oh, so we get a skip once a run. Um, we have three hearts here. I'm not sure if that's our health bar. If we only get three mistakes for the 10. I am going to say... Uh, Bardud Varnok is longer. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe two out of two. Okay, feels good. By the way, this is probably like the most chill and most satisfying game show music I've heard. Okay, feeling good about myself after two turns here. Flame rump sapphire. The flame rump sapphire. I'm not gonna read out the Latin one. Is a doubtfully valid species of hummingbird in the family, known only from Brazil. Today, few authorities accept it as it is valid, instead believing it represents a hybrid. Mm. Marie Curie. Marie Curie, May 2001, mm -hmm, 
is a Lebanese swimmer. She competed in the women's 50 meter freestyle and 50 meter backstroke at the 2019 World Aquatics Championship. She represented Lebanon at the 2022 World Aqu Aquatics Championships held in Budapest, Hungary. More views. Oh, 91 against 21. Eh, some of these are making me want to open up the article here, but let's go for the next round here. Ortulu. Off is a village in the Off. Wow, in the Black Sea region of Turkey. Errol Stevens, born 1986, is a Jamaican footballer who plays as a forward. We're gonna keep going with our strategy here, and anything that gives us a birth date that is like someone who's in their 30s still will give us more views. Ah! Look at the look at how how far away that was. 722 out of 17. I, I don't believe this. I'm four out of ten. Seriously, no mistakes yet. John Brown's Fort was originally built in 1848 for use as a guard and fire engine house by the Federal Harpers Ferry Armory in Harpers Ferry, Virginia, 1863. That couldn't have gotten more views. Oh, but this one gets worse. Otto Wagner was a German major general and for a period Adolf Hitler's economic advisor and confidant. Mm. Okay. This is like the most challenging one so far. Um, John Brown's fort was used as a guard and fire engine house. Which one's longer here? I oh man this other one is all the way from 1848 right okay this might be my first long wrong one here but I'm gonna go auto longer here oh wow did I get it no wrong okay so we did lose one health I wonder if the articles get tougher to judge as you know as we get closer to um getting 10 Heathrow hub railway station is this in London in England yeah Heathrow Hub Railway Station was a proposed interchange that would serve mainly a now disbanded potential alignment of high speed HS2 services that would adjoin the expanded part of Heathrow Airport, England. It was a cornerstone part of an expansion plan put forward in North Pine Dam. North Pine Dam is a mass concrete gravity dam with. Oh my gosh, it's getting tough. Um, where is it? Embarkments on a. Abut abutments, abutments with a gated spillway across the North Fine River that is located in the southeast region of Queensland, Australia. The main purpose of the dam is for supply of potable water. Isn't um, I know that there's been flooding right in Australia, so maybe. People are searching about the dam, if it has anything to do with it in Queensland. Oh, I don't know where what's happening. But that is my biggest lead here. <laughs> okay, barely. 321 against 228. Ooh. Okay. Free I Am is the fifth single by Japanese singer Aimer. Released on March 20, 2013 under Death Star Records, written by Hiroyuki Sawano. The song was used as the ending theme of episode 6. Oh, okay, that's a good selling point right there. Janko Konstantinov. Janko Konstantinov, Macedonian, in Bitola, Kingdom of Serbs, is a Macedonian architect and artist. Okay, more views, Mr. Um, not, is it Mr.? Who is it? Hiroyuki? Um, pop pop culture come on come on come on come on but it's yeah all right strategy so far working olocera sibilina i don't know if i'm saying that right is a butterfly found in a paleo paleoritic that belongs to the browns family the species was first described by charles Albert in 1890 it is endemic to china and tibet okay Church of All Saints in Radwell in Hertfordshire in an, Ange an Angelican. Oh my goodness. Which falls within the diocese. 
It is a grade two listed building having gained the status in 1968. Oh, maybe I should have researched first whether these um Latin scientific um species stuff give for long articles in Wikipedia, right? <laughs> this music. <laughs> Come on, longer. Ah, oh, not by a long shot. Okay, we're gonna remember this. Let's treat this as a roguelike, right? So, let's remember that this Latin species thing doesn't make for long articles. I hope it's consistent. Go. My goodness, we only have one heart left. Turkoglu. Turkoglu. An NBA player named Turkoglu. Turkoglu, I'm not sure how you pronounce it correctly, but the um, um the NBA player was called Turkoglu. It's a town and district of Pro <laughs> Karamanaras province in the Mediterranean region of Turkey. Dean of Lean of Lelin. The Dean of Lelin is based at the cath Cathedral Church of St. Lazaria, an old Lelin in the United Diocese of Cashel. Oh man, come on. Turkey. Has Turkey, um... I don't know if there's stuff going on in Turkey that could lead to the, uh... Mm, I'm gonna go with longer here with the Dean. Good. We survived. 7 out of 10. Can we, like, just um, get a, a passing mark here? And then make it? Like 7, 70% is good enough, right? Sometimes to pass. Not always, but sometimes. What is it? Co Coxeter? Coxeter James Price is presented annually by the Canadian Mathematical Society. The awards are presented to young mathematicians in recognition of... Megachile Mendane is a species of bee. Here we go again. Here we go again. Oh, okay. Am I banking on my strategy here? That Latin species stuff. I sound so dumb saying that, but that's what I'm calling it. Um, are shorter. Come on. Oh, look at that. Okay, so far two out of two. Let's keep that in mind. Come on, man. I'm so close. So close. Can I get these next two? 1993 AA. IAAF World Indoor Championships, Women's 800 Meters, the Women's 800 Meters event, and then 1993 World Indoor Championships was held on. What is IAAF? 800 meters of what? Water polo at the 1987 Summer Universiad water polo events were contested at the 1987 Summer in Yugoslavia. More views in the last 60 days. Uh, 800 meters event. Um. Oh, jeez. Can this one, the water polo one, be longer? Because it might be telling a story where water polo events were contested at the 1987 summer. The women's 800 meters event was held on longer. Come on. Oh! No! Okay. Try again. Let's see if also there's a, um, a consistency here. Like, if the article seems long, it's probably short. If the article seems short, it's probably long. Oh my goodness, let's find out. Chinese Rhenish Church Hong Kong Synod. Uh-huh, is a Lutheran denomination in Hong Kong. It is a member... Gareth Moore, theologian, was an English theologian, author, and Dominican friar. Uh, theologian. Against... <laughs> against a Chinese Lutheran church. That is interesting. Uh, I'm gonna say... 
Gareth Morris longer. Nice, okay. Mm. WQWQLD is a low power television station. In Kentucky, United States, it is a translator of Cape Girardeau, Missouri, licensed dual. <laughs> okay, Bonnie Alvan, Persian, Romanized as Bonnie Alvan, and Bonnie. Oh, is a village. Oh, it's a village. Central district of Iran. This population of us. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, Iran Iran has been in the um the news recently more recently, so I'm gonna Oh my goodness. Gonna be even more wrong. Grizzly is a studio. It's a Kabushiki Geisha Grizzly. It's a Japanese animation studio. It's the first studio to produce Boys Love or BL anime. Uh-huh. Boxing at the 1964 Summer Olympics. The light heavyweight class in the boxing at the 1964 Summer Olympics competition was the second heaviest class. Lightweight box, lightweight, light heavyweights were limited to those boxers weighing less than 81 kilograms. 19 boxers from. I'm gonna go with longer with the boxing here. Ah, oh, no. Uh. Okay, New York. Now we're not feeling good about ourselves. Look at the uh, nice picture here. I, li I like this. I like how we're getting the pictures here. Look at the architecture here. That's beautiful. We're getting like a, a short history lesson. Although we don't get the full lesson, but we get a snippet of it. You know, tickles our curiosity. The New York Produce Exchange was a commodities exchange headquartered in the financial district of Lower Manhattan in New York City. It served a network of produce and commodities dealers across the U.S. Uh huh. Tacitus, Publius Cornelius Tacitus, was a Roman historian and politician. Tacitus is widely regarded as one of the greatest Roman historians by modern scholars. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go, Tacitus. Beat it. Beat it. No. Result one? How could I have gone from eight out of ten to one out of ten? Oh my gosh. Before I try again, I thought I saw like a different mode here. Only articles with 300 plus views. Huh, that should be interesting. Show article pictures. What is this? This ambigu this ambiguations allowed? What does that mean? I want to try this. Let's try. Restart to change. Yeah, restart. And then let's do... Let's try to see what only articles with 300 plus views will do. Okay, okay. This, is, this should be interesting. That's good, right? This is it. Okay. Uh, okay. So these got 300 plus views. Wait, 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 wait. Only articles with 300 plus views. That doesn't do a lot for us. <laughs> I thought it would like help us or something and give us a better idea, but it's still history of the University of Notre Dame, Notre Dame. Uh... And this is Yajna Valkya. Is a Hindu Vedic sage figuring, figuring in the, uh, uh-huh. Proposes and debates metaphysical questions about the nature of existence, consciousness, and impermanence, and expounds. Man, if someone who debates metaphysical questions about the nature of existence, consciousness, and impermanence, and expounds the, all that stuff, doesn't beat the history of the university, albeit it's an 1842... It was founded in 1842. I don't know what will beat that. Oh! <laughs> I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, these are in color. <laughs> oh, we gotta see here. Nicholas Ekberg is a Swedish handballer and a Swedish 
uh -huh, who was part of the Swedish team that won silver. 2012 Summer Olympics, he was also part of the Swedish national team. Okay. Celia Wade Brown, New Zealand politician who served as a 34th mayor of Wellington. Wade Brown was the third female mayor of the city, replacing center right Carey. Hmm. Is there stuff going on in New Zealand? Elections and stuff? I don't think so. Um. I'm gonna say though that the uh, the mayor's profile is longer than the uh, handballer's profile here. Way longer. Interesting. But yeah, I figured um, athlete profiles on Wikipedia are usually short. So, haha. Uh huh. Afro Asiatic homeland is the uh, hypothetical place where speakers of the pro-afro-asiatic language uh-huh uh-huh moscow moscow declarations the moscow declarations were four declarations signed during the moscow moscow the, dec the declarations are distinct um, I don't think this is gonna hold up. Again, unfortunately, there's more news about Russia recently, so I'm gonna go with more views for that. But I doubt it's gonna hold up here. Yeah, okay, we just tried it, okay. Defense, legal, my goodness. <laughs> okay, I love this. We're, an article about legal de defense. Legal defense is going up against a list of national disco action number ones of 1977. <laughs> Dance Club Songs is a chart published weekly by Billboard magazine in the United States, which ranks the popularity of songs in nightclubs across the country. Based on a national survey of club disc jockeys, Defense is in a civil proceeding or criminal prosecution under the common law or under statute. A defendant may raise a defense or defense, a defense or defense in an effort to avert civil liability or criminal conviction. A defense is put forward by a party. That has to be longer, right? That definition for a def legal defense. Oh. Oh my goodness, that tells us a lot how an article is, what is this, like, um, 17,000 words longer, an article about disco songs, the best disco songs of 1977 is longer than the definition of a legal defense, love it, okay, one more try. I thought there was like an arena mode or something and I'm trying to look for this ambiguations allowed. Look at this recent arena runs. We have one, one, eight. We have an eight. Ugh. Endless runs. Oh, so these are the arena runs. What are the endless runs then? I wonder how I want to try that one. But anyway, this ambiguations allowed. Let's see how it's going to change things. Uh-huh. Thame. You pronounce this as a Thame, right? It's a surname with origins from Germany and Holland. Uh-huh. 1995 Ontario general election. Was held. Uh-huh. The writs for the election were dropped. Oh my goodness. How are you supposed to tell this? Wait, 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 what is this arena here? Can you reach 10 points before being wrong three times? Oh, here we go. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna try this. Let's try the versus Wikibot. What is this? Uh huh. What does this mean? Uh huh. Let's say the, the uh,. The election is longer. What's gonna happen? Uh huh. Okay. 
Full fight simulator. Full flight simulator. Mm hmm. Mar Mare Winningham. American actress and songwriter. She is the recipient of two primetime Emmy Awards and has been nominated for an Academy Award. Wow. I'm gonna say that this full flight simulator got more views. Oh, wow. What? what, what, what I wanna know what the Wikibot is doing, though. Um. Okay. Oh, let's see. Let's see here. Um. Let's restart. And then let's... Ooh, Kesha is here. <laughs> Kesha with a dollar sign. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see what Endless Mode is. How many points can you reach before being wrong three times? Hmm, what's the difference between Endless Mode and Arena Mode then? Can we restart? Hmm, I don't know. Okay. Tarantella is a 1995 drama film directed by Helen de Michelle, Mich starring Mira Servino as the main character. Premiere to the Seattle International Film Festival, Electric Loco Shed. Man, Wikipedia's crazy, right? It has all these articles. Railway Zone in India. I'm gonna say that's longer. Good. Timothy Paul Baymon is the first patriarch of the uh, Holy Communion of Churches, also known as the Holy Christian Orthodox Church. This is crazy, right? All these articles in Wikipedia. The Christian denomination embracing the convergence of the convergence movement, serving a third consecutive ther term as president of the world bishops. Ooh, wow. Jordan Hill was. Jordan Hill was originally signed by producer David Foster, his own label, 143 Records, a division of the Warner Music Group. I'm gonna go with the bishop here. No, no, is he a bishop? I don't know, but I'm gonna say that's longer. Oh my gosh, but 600 words? Come on, man, you gotta give me that. Neve Danielle is an Israeli settlement in the West Bank, located in western... Uh-huh. Just west of Bethlehem. Sits atop one of the highest points in the area. Okay. Tokidensho Angel Eyes is a Japanese fighting video game developed and published by Tecmo. More views. Come on, let's go, guys. Good. Okay, way more views. It was released in arcades and later to the PlayStation. 2D fighting game featuring all female cast. Hmm. Okay, we're already. I think we're already. Um, we have one one eight. Okay, so we're already uh, better. <laughs> Even if we don't get an, um, uh, a correct answer anymore. Major Mohammed Ali Shah is an Indian actor, a former soldier. He is a member of the board of the International Film and an Entertainment Festival of Australia. All Albert Park, Auckland, is a public park. Mm. I'm gonna say that Mohammed uh, over here has a longer article. Really? The park? <laughs> I thought that would have been like field foot pass, and then there's like something there, and then done. <laughs> Okay, uh, what is this now? CFCFDT is a television station in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. That's gonna be a short one, I have to think. What's the other one? Equipartition Theorem. In, a, in classical statistical mechanics, <laughs> the temperature of a system to its average energies. Dude. The Equipartition Theorem is also known as the Law of Equipartition. Am I reading this right? Equipartition, equipartition of energy, or simply equipartition. The original idea. Oh my gosh. I mean, it, this could also be the original idea of equipartition came from blank. Done. But again, if this definition of this can't be longer than the TV station, I don't know what's up. All right, all right, three. Okay. 
Okay. Geo Breeders. Is it Japanese? Oh, it's a Japanese manga series. List of Laverne and Shirley episodes. The following is a list of episodes. Laverne from the 1970s and 1980s TV series. Oh, this is a good fight right here. This is a fight against a manga series against a, uh, a TV series from the 1970s and 80s. I'm saying it's a good fight in terms of which one is the longer. Because if I had to guess, I would go with more views for the, the manga. But I want to do the fight here between which one is longer. I'm going to go. Just because I, I think that there's a smaller chance that a Japanese um, piece of media it's probably gonna be um have a shorter information on Wikipedia. I'm gonna go a bit longer for Laverne and Shirley here. <laughs> oh my goodness. And that was like not even close. I'm gonna take a quick look at the articles right here. Twenty almost twenty-two thousand words, and this one is just uh, under five thousand. My goodness. And look at the views as well. I guessed so wrong. The manga is way longer. And Laverne and Shirley got way more views the last 60 days. That is crazy. What is this? Endless mode? I'm a stats guy, yeah. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> I like this. I like getting to see you though. Afterwards. I'm gonna open the article for a sec here. Geo Breeders. So. Geo Breeders. 1993 to 2009. Oh wow. I am shocked by the detail of this article right here. Wait, what about Laverne and Shirley's? Aren't they gonna like list all the um the episodes from this one? Those are really long. Uh-huh. Oh, I guess the words, huh? Because the uh the manga had a lot of um descriptions and this is like just a, a list of the episodes. Got it. Noted next time. <laughs> That's how uh, we get the roguelike here. We have to learn how the um, which one has more words, which one doesn't. There's like a consistency to it. Okay, but that was a good look at Wiki Arena. I'm probably gonna be playing more of this off camera because I want to be looking. I'm a big nerd, I guess. I want to be looking at each of the articles each time and. Uh, I'm gonna be serious about trying to get a 10 out of 10 here. I'm gonna um, take note of every mistake and every correct answer and see if there's a pattern, you know? There's a pattern with like, which one is longer, which one gets more views. Well, maybe not the views necessarily, but like, which articles are longer? I mean, my nerdy strategizing self is telling me that he can make a plan in order to get the 10 out of 10 here and um, I think for me that's the best strategy for now is like to get a pattern of like which articles are consistently longer like what kind of articles what their topics are and then if you get a bunch of those then maybe you can go and get a win here but anyway that would be it for now thank you again to fabian fisher please leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it leave a comment tell me if like there were some obvious answers to some of these that you know i just like made dumb answers to please consider subscribing to the channel go check out wiki arena and i will see you guys in the next one